I think she's broken, you guys. Oh my god, I've never had this happen before. This is so creepy. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> guys, she's frozen. I think I broke her. everyone and welcome to another episode of the royal family before we begin today's episode i just have my quick announcement about my patreon that i want to make my patreon is alive now and you can find the link to that in the description below i'm just really quickly going to go over the tiers for the patreon so just hang tight so for the tiers i have three different tiers and each one of them are priced differently and i made sure that they wouldn't be too expensive for you guys because i definitely don't want that to be the case i don't want you guys to miss out on some extra stuff just because of the price of everything so I made sure it wasn't too expensive. So I'll just go over everything really quickly. So if you join the first tier, you will be able to join my private Discord server, which will allow you to communicate directly with me. So in that case, you can ask me any questions you have about your own royal family or how I make my videos or anything like that. And it'll just be a lot of fun. We'll just have our own Discord group. And if you guys are unsure of how to use Discord, don't worry, because to be honest, I'm not great at using it either. So I did my research though. I actually looked up a video and there was a video called Discord for Dummies. So I might put that in the post in the Patreon, just in case you are unaware of how to use it, but it will be a lot of fun. So that would be the first tier. The first tier is $1 per month. So definitely not that much at all. For the second tier, the second tier will allow you to join the private Discord group. It will also allow you to participate in any polls that I post. So I might do polls on like how you want the stories to turn out, or maybe even on polls on baby names or whichever gets the most votes. In the future, I might do like a prime minister and have you guys vote on who you think the prime minister should be of each world so things like that so that will be part of the second tier and then another thing would also that you would have early access to my youtube videos so that would be for the second tier and the second tier is three dollars per month so just a little bit more expensive but still not too expensive and then for the third tier you will get to do all the things i mentioned the discord group you'll have the ability to take polls you will have early access to youtube videos and you will also have access to bonus videos so some create a sim videos that i haven't posted on my youtube channel and and even some like remodeling of the castles and all the mansions. Sometimes I might record me just like updating some of the noble families so you get a little behind the scenes on those as well. So for the third tier, that is $5 per month. So that is the top tier. I will probably add some more perks to these memberships later on as well. You're welcome to cancel your membership at any time. So if you are interested, click the link in the description below to my Patreon so you guys can go ahead and check that out. And you guys are welcome to support me on there if you would like to, so yeah. I just wanted to go over that, but in the last episode of the royal family oh gosh guys it was such a great episode we had our royal wedding so king henry got married to queen ava and then during the wedding we had princess amira flirting with makai and then prince johan's father king jared saw it and asked king henry for princess amira not to marry his son anymore because he didn't want her to be the future queen of brindisland bay so he asked her if he would consider letting princess may become the future queen of brindisland bay and king henry said yes so so now he is arranging that marriage with Princess May and Prince Johan and Princess Amira got very upset at Princess May about it. So she started yelling her at the wedding too. And then also at the wedding, we had King Henry and Queen Ava try for a baby. So she is now pregnant, you guys, and I'm so, so excited for that too. So in this episode though, we are actually going to go ahead and focus on Princess Leilana of Sulani. So we're gonna focus on her and she might be going on a date with someone as well. And then I do wanna focus on on Prince James of Brindleton Bay and his life as well. So we'll get to focus on that in this episode. So if you're excited for this episode, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. I, in the last episode, mentioned that I thought that there was a mod that could make a destination world, like a, a world that you can live in into a world that you can vacation to. And there is, and I wanted to make Sulani a world where King Henry and Queen Ava could go on their honeymoon, but then I didn't know what would happen to our Sims that live in Sulani. And I didn't know if I could play from them anymore. So I didn't want to risk that. So I decided not to do that. But I do think, I am filming this episode directly after the last episode. So I have not seen any comments or suggestions in my last video, but I did mention maybe making Selva, Selva Dorado, <laughs> that destination world and Granite Falls 
falls into kingdom. So I'm excited to read your comments about that because I have not posted that video yet. So I'm very excited to see that. And I'm also going to avoid having Queen Ava have her baby in this episode because I don't want her to have that until the next episode. I do have some baby names in mind though because I have gotten many recommendations from you guys. So I have some baby names in mind, but just keep in mind that if I don't use yours, don't be discouraged because we are going to have plenty of royal babies coming up. So I will definitely try to use all of them if I can. Probably won't be able to use all of them, but as many as I can for sure. And there's definitely some people that I have promised. Like I do want to make the first daughter that Princess Naya has. I want to name her Arya after Naya's grand after Naya's mother. And then I want to name her first son Manuel 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 Manuel. It's Manuel because that was uh, some of the viewers that I promised. I do want to name a Princess Bellatrix. I want to name one of the princesses Marjorie. So there's a whole ton of names too, and I have made a list of all of your suggestions. So just so you guys know. Okay, so enough talking. Sorry. It looks like during that um, Princess Leilana walked in on her mother using the bathroom, so that's not good. Also, just so you guys know, well, I'm gonna do a cheat so everyone's happy right now, but uh, King Henry and Queen Ava, I did send them on their honeymoon, so they are in Granite Falls for a few days having their honeymoon. I figured we didn't need to see that. We know what happens. Queen Ava's pregnant anyway, so she can't even do that much, but they're on their honeymoon. They're enjoying themselves. They're there for two days, so there is that. So it is 8 p.m. right now. It's actually winter time in Sulani, but of course we know that Sulani does not get too cold. So I wanna take a look at the weather here. So it looks like though it's winter, it is cool, but oh, I do wanna have her go on a date, but I wanted it to be in the daytime because I want them to go like sailing and stuff too. But I want her date to be with, so we have Lord Jaden, and then we also have Prince Jack of Willow Creek. Since she, well, she doesn't even really have that much of a romantic relationship with Lord Jaden. It doesn't look like anything's there, but the, the romantic bar is there. So I think she's gonna ask him on a date first. I think she's actually gonna ask him just to hang out because I do want, I want her to maybe see what happens with Prince Jack too, but no one really said that they had any preferences on if she dates Prince Jack or if she dates Lord Jaden. So I wanna kind of see how she gets along with both of them. So I think first we'll go on a date with Lord Jaden and then maybe in the next episode of the one after she'll go on a date with Prince Jack. So yeah, I'm so excited to see what happens with that. So we did invite Prince or Lord Jaden to come over and so he should be coming over very, very soon. Looks like she is still in her her formal outfit so I'm definitely going to have her change out of that also guys I downloaded like 60 something new hair like new custom content hair so this was one of them so it's still oh it looks like he's here already okay so she's gonna go greet him but that hair that she's wearing for her formal outfit is one of the custom content hairs that I need that I got because it's still curly and it's in a bun so I thought it was really cool so yeah so I just wanted to show you guys that so Jaden is here so she did tell her parents that she was inviting her over a boy so I think they definitely need to introduce themselves to him because I think that they would be very inter interested to see who their daughter has just invited over to their palace so also guys I want to do a like a remodeling like I guess like it would be a build video like a speed build but it's not a build because it's like the castle already exists but like a uh, renovations to the palace but the thing is I've already done renovations to the palace but I haven't finished so there's still more I could do I don't know I I really don't think doing a, a renovating video would be that interesting for this uh, for this castle, to be completely honest. I will save that for a different like venue or something like that though too, but I just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention. I did do some changes. So this right here is Princess Leilana's bed and this is her bedroom and everything too. So I thought it was so cool. I love the awning over. It's like my favorite thing ever. This is definitely a custom content bed, but I just thought it went really well. Also, these are island spirits in case you were wondering. I didn't know actually you could do anything with them. You could commune with spirits. What does that I mean like talk with them but she has like a desk area here too and like a closet and we have the bedrooms over here i just love like the carpets and everything with it that come with the pack they have such great build items i love them so 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 much did the king and queen introduce themselves to lord jaden also where did he go okay so i found lord jaden i actually ended up asking him out on a date so he would stay but i did also make princess leilana take a vacation day from school so i wouldn't have to get interrupted by that but i don't actually know if he's going to go to school immediately so I will have to find out if he does. So guys, so she's a mermaid as you guys know. I have not tried 
any of this siren stuff and I'm kind of scared to right now. Does it tell you what they do? A charmer's lullaby? I might want to do some research before I try this because I don't want to ruin anything with him. So yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit and see what those those siren interactions do. But it's 6 a.m. right now. I kind of want them. I tried to make them go on a date to the beach and it wouldn't let me. It said the lot it wasn't available to go on a date at the beach, where I think it's kind of ridiculous. Like I think that should be allowed. So I just thought that was a little bit weird. But okay, how do I use this? Let's see. Place in world. Can you go here or like let's let's go wait here together? So I do feel like rumor has spread about them, like the the royal family of Sulani being mermaids and like mermaid mer people and everything so oh also I do need to get rid of her walk like the I want to have her use the normal walk style because someone pointed that out to me before and I thought I like had the same idea which was like I don't think that they would walk like that like the prissy way that the celebrities walk so I do want her to have a normal walk style they're very much just like regular people like their idea of royalty is a, a lot different than our other royals for sure so he does know oh my god he still has his food he must be really hungry um so he does know about the whole mermaid thing, but this is the first time he's actually seeing it. Oh my god, he just put his, his he just put his food in the water, you guys. It's awful. He is not being good to the environment like right now. Okay, so swimming together. So this is the first time he's seeing her in her mermaid form, and I'm kind of really, really excited to see this. And I don't know if they have like a specific reaction to it or anything, but I'm really excited to see if they do. All right, come on, Princess Leilana, turn into a mermaid. I want to see this. Why are you still walking? Like it's super deep. There we go. Okay, she is in her mermaid form now you got oh god she's a beautiful mermaid seriously though like can we just talk about how amazing she is okay so they are just here together right now he honestly doesn't really have that much of a reaction to it like he already knew about it so that's good though he's not like taking it the wrong way or anything oh a mermaid's kiss is that bad though i don't know what that does i'm scared i don't know should i try it i'm gonna try it okay yeah so a mermaid's kiss is that a bad thing okay is this gonna be bad oh my gosh <gasps> guys that's so cute oh my god wait this is their first kiss Stop! Oh my gosh, is that the cutest thing or what? Seriously? This is adorable. Oh my god, this is the first time they're kissing you guys. <gasps> this is their first kiss! I didn't even know this was gonna happen. Oh my gosh, stop. Did that like do anything though? Like, does that do anything specifically? It doesn't say. It doesn't say like they've had their first kiss or anything, but that was their first kiss, you guys. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Well, I want them to like go on this, this boat thing. So can I place this in the world and then have them go on the boat? Oh, this is cool. I've never actually done this before. Okay. Can you not fit two people on the boat? That seems a little ridiculous, right? You should be able to fit two people on a boat. Where's Lord Jaden? Where did he go? Was he just like so mesmerized by that kiss that he had to leave? I found him. I need him to come here. I want him. Can they not go on the boat together? Because that would be really, really cute. And I'm very upset that that is not a thing on here right now. Oh my gosh, they can't. They can't go on the boat together. I just teleported him and he's like actually here. But guys, they're both feeling very, very flirty. They've already kissed, so we have that. So, I mean, things are going super, super well with them. Their date, I've just reached a gold date. I know you guys can't see it because my face cam is right there, but they've just reached a gold medal on their date. I'm gonna leave them here, I think. This was a really good date for them, and they're actually really cute together. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. I do think I am going to have her go on a date with Prince Jack, though, just to kind of see what happens there. But I am going to leave them here, and then I do want to go over to... Prince James of Brindleton Bay so we can go ahead and go see him because I do want to focus on him a little bit as well. Oh my goodness gracious, it is snowing like crazy here. Oh, the kids are actually supposed to be at school right now. Oh, uh, and we can't take a vacation day and it's going to ruin their, their, uh, what's it called? Their work, ethic? what is it called? Their performance. Um, and they're already just doing okay. So I am going to send them to school. So we'll have to do that, but it's snowing already. Oh my gosh, it's winter. Oh my gosh, I hate what it's winter, you guys. But but Prince Johan's birthday is coming up and Princess Amira too. So I think probably in a few episodes from now, we will have their birthday party. Princess Amira is a little bit older than Prince Johan, only by like a day or two. So we'll definitely have her birthday party first. It'll be this big thing. And then I think her and Makai are around the same age. I, if we have time, we'll definitely go to Princess uh, Amira and Makai in this episode as well. But like literally everyone's gone right now. This was actually pointless. <laughs> but I, they're gonna be back in just a little bit. Oh, who's freezing to death? Stop, no. <gasps> 
Queen Nina. Oh my gosh, Queen Nina, get inside. Please, please, please don't freeze. Please don't freeze. I don't want you to freeze. Okay, go inside before you die. Oh no, King Jared's freezing to death too. Oh my god, then go inside. What's wrong with you people? I seriously hate winter. Like, this is my absolute least favorite season. This one in summer when it's just so hot because everyone, then they're like dying from the heat. It's like, oh my gosh. I haven't had any Sims die from the heat yet, but I feel like it's bound to happen at some point. So... Prince uh, James, he had a thing with Lady Tina and uh, her parents, so we can just see. So her parents are the Baron and Baroness of Oasis Springs. His parents were pretty okay with her, like, and her family. It wasn't the most successful meeting with her family ever. They kind of set things up. And, and like, honestly, him and Lady Tina didn't get along very well. But actually, Prince Jer James has a little bit of a romantic relationship with Lord Ian of Willow Creek. If you guys don't remember Lord Ian, him and Princess Amira were kind of flirting, and I think they kissed too, like, a while ago. He was one of her first romantic interests, and she didn't take him seriously at all. So that's who Lord Ian is, you guys, and he's a teenager too. So there's a little bit of a romantic relationship going on there, and I kind of want to see what's going on with them. Definitely don't want to invite him to hang out on the current lot. I think he's gonna have to travel somewhere else to be with him, but I just thought that was so interesting. So I think it'll be interesting to see if he ends up liking Lady Tina or if he ends up liking Lord Ian because with Lady Tina, definitely things were not progressing very well with the romantic relationship. So I'm kind of interested to see how well things progress with him and Lord Ian. So we're going to go ahead and take them. They can't go anywhere super public, especially since his parents have kind of I think they've kind of decided for him to try to pursue Lady Tina. They want him to do that. So we're going to have to go somewhere completely different. Probably nowhere in Brindleton Bay. Honestly, the island bluffs are like the best place to go when you don't want anyone to try to find you. But we go there so much too. I mean, honestly, they could like go somewhere and not be super intimate or anything. So maybe they'll just go to like the Windenburg Square. I don't think I've actually, have I taken you guys here before? I don't think so. So the Windenburg Square is like this little shopping center area which I love and it's really cute I think we might have been here like once or twice but not not too often so I think this is a good place to go for them okay so this is Windenburg Square we actually have been here before I definitely recognize this so I'm going to have them sit together here so guys I did get this new mod which I thought was really cool and I think it came out for Pride Month since June is Pride Month but I got this mod where Sims can come out so you can come out as gay or you can come out as transgender or you can can I you should yeah you can come out as bi honestly I don't know if Prince James is bi or gay I don't think he has I'll have him tell a joke about Sunset Valley so I I just don't know because I don't know if he was forced to like Lady Tina and there's like a bit of a romantic relationship but there is a bit of a romantic relationship with him and Lady Tina oh my gosh there is a paparazzi here I think Prince James is going to have to put on in disguise. I'm gonna to have to find a mirror here so he could put one on because we definitely don't want paparazzi because they're so, so annoying. Okay, so Prince James has put on his celebrity disguise. So I'm going to, oh, I have to find, wait, where did he go? I have to find Lord Ian again. I think I lost him. Okay, I found him. And it doesn't look like we're gonna be bothered by any more paparazzi at the moment, so that is good. So I am going to have him ask Lord Ian out on official date. He actually hasn't gone out on a date with with Lady Helena, or no, not Lady Helena, with Lady Tina yet. So I am gonna probably have him also go on a date and kind of see who he gets along with a little bit better. Wait, why can you seriously not go to a marketplace for a date? That kind of sucks. Maybe we'll go to the coffee shop. Have we been here before? I think we have, but we'll go anyway. Okay, this have I been here before? This is actually kind of a really cool coffee shop. Order drink. Can you order for both of you or no? I, I guess not. Oh, a macchiato, that sounds good. Okay, so he'll order that and and then they will go ahead and sit down here. Let's let's sit here together. And he's still in a celebrity disguise, so I don't have to worry about any paparazzi right now. Oh my gosh, you guys! <gasps> Lady Tina's here! Oh my god! I was seriously not expecting her to be here at all. Are you serious right now? She's here? Oh gosh. Well, he's in a celebrity disguise, so I wonder if he can even honestly, like, if she even recognizes him. I'm gonna have him flirt. Is she gonna recognize? I'm trying to see who else is here. It doesn't look like anyone royal is really here, but- Oh! Oh no! I just saw their romantic relationship go down, though, you guys. Oh my gosh. Wait. 
Oh no, wait, she's feeling sad. She's walking right to them. She found them. Oh no, should we just like ask her to be friends then? Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this. Okay, but but that means she knows. Like if she saw them and their romantic relationship went down, but this, she could just be a friend. To be completely honest, she could just be a friend, but then she, he's gonna have to explain this to Lord Ian. I think he has to tell her like she was just, I don't know, all my, I don't even know what to do right now, you guys. <gasps> I don't know. Should we just ask her to be friends? But then, like, I don't know if she actually saw them be romantic together. She's walking away. She walked away. Is this the paparazzi? Oh, he's a fan. Okay, I was like, is she whispering to the paparazzi right now and telling them that that is Prince James? Because that is a really low blow, to be completely honest. Oh my god, you guys, I don't know. What did we do? He's on a date right now. He's on a date. But I don't know if she caught him, like, and if she knows that he's on the date, should they just go upstairs and try to avoid everything right now? I think so. Let's go here. Let's sit together here. Because we want to avoid Lady Tina. Because she could just not know that they're on a date. She could just think that they're friends and not know. <gasps> oh no, but Princess May is here too. Oh, and he's, okay, he's reacting positively to her. Because I guess, because they're just such good friends. So, that's a good thing. Okay. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe Lady Tina is here, guys. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna have to let me know what we should do about that, you guys. <gasps> I don't even really know. I don't know what we should do. Stop. Okay, King, King, or not King, Prince James, you're gonna have to go upstairs, though, and go talk to Lord Ian, because otherwise he's gonna get upset that you're not talking to him. So I honestly don't even know, like, how this romantic relationship got started. I mean, obviously, they go to school together, and they're gonna flirt up here, because no one else is really up here at all. Yeah, no one's up here, so they got plenty of privacy up here. I guess they've just become really close friends, and they are, oh, it's almost Prince Johan's birthday, too, um, and then I guess they just started flirting and like kind of got really into each other too, you guys. So they're gonna exchange numbers even though they probably have each other's number already. And then I guess ask him if he's single, we should probably know that. So I don't even think him and Lady Tina are actually officially dating though. Let's see, they're just lovebirds, yeah. So they're not like romantic, like girlfriend and boyfriend or anything like that, but his parents want them to be. So he's going to, if, if things work out with him and Lord Ian and they don't work out with Lady Tina, then he's going to have to tell his parents and we're going to have to see how they take that. Because I do think that like when you come out, I think like Sims react differently. And I would be very interested to know like how the creator decided like who reacts how and like all that stuff. We're just gonna have to see. I, I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this. Be friendly though, you guys though, okay? Because if you're gonna comment things about like people being gay and like negatively and all that, I don't want you guys to comment in the comments. If you guys don't wanna watch this, then you can unsubscribe, but I just wanna let you guys know that. So I don't wanna see any negativity in the comments. If you guys think that he should be with Lady Tina for different reasons, then that's fine. But just wanna let you guys know that. So please be kind. So he is feeling very flirty right now though you guys i don't know if lord ian was feeling very flirty i think they should probably go back upstairs and chat a little bit more oh my gosh though you guys people are coming well i want him i just want him to like talk to him a little bit more so flirt so it looks like more people that prince james know is here it knows is here so Queen Lindsay is here, and then Queen Cora is here too, you guys. So we're getting a few more royals. And then of course, Lady Tina is still here. So, oh gosh, you guys. Oh, they, oh, okay. They all just like reset and like slap their arms by their side for some reason. But yeah, Lady Tina is still here. She looked really sad before. I don't know if she is still feeling that way. I don't know how Lady Tina reacted. I don't know if she knew that they were on the date. So let me know what you guys thought of that. Cause I think that would be very, very interesting. Maybe compliment his appearance and maybe reveal crush, tell him that you like him. We are on a gold medal now for the date. So that's a good thing. So our dates are going really well in this episode. So guys, I think I'm going to leave them here and I think we're gonna go ahead and go see Princess Amira and maybe she's gonna go ask Makai out on, oh, did I just go to build mode? That's not what I meant to do at all. But yeah, let's go ahead and end this date here because it went really well. So we're gonna go save and go to manage worlds. And then we're going to go to Princess Amira and Makai. And I think that Princess Amira is going to ask Makaya on a date. And then I think she knows that he's a mermaid. She knows about this whole mer, mer or merman. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. Mermaid is just like so ingrained in my head. So I might accidentally say that a lot. I mean to say either merman or like mer people or stuff like that, but I'm just so used to saying mermaid. So yeah, I, I will try not to do that. Um, but we're gonna have Princess Amira. So I'm pretty sure she knows that he's a mermaid. I think she thinks it's, I don't know. I don't know if she would think it's really cool 
And I think she wants to be a mermaid too, but I don't think she knows that the whole like the ceremony for to become a mermaid, a mermaid is only for the royals of Sulani. I don't know if she'd want to be a mermaid. Like people say they want to be a mermaid, but if it actually came down to it and someone like actually gave you one of those mermatic help, would you want to be a mermaid? Like you would have like scales, you'd live in the ocean and all that too. So I don't know if she'd want to be, but I think she is going to ask him out on a date. So Makai and, ooh, invite club to hang out. No, 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 no. I want to ask him out on a date. So I guess I'm just going to teleport him here and then she can ask him on a date from here. Okay, so Makai is here. Oh my gosh, guys, he has no shirt on. I should probably put a shirt on because it's freezing outside. It's snowing like crazy. So let's see, MZ dresser, change outfit, change into, change into some clothes. So. She is going to flirt with him a little bit and then, oh yeah, and then ask him out on a date. So I don't even really know where they should go on a date. I feel like I really want them to go to the beach, but they can't. Okay, so she's asking him out. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Maybe they could go to a restaurant. I kind of want to go on another date in Suvati. I, ooh, oh yeah, I have these restaurants here. I still don't understand why I can't go to the beach. It kind of sucks, but I do have these two restaurants. I think I want to try this one out because we haven't been here yet. So I think it's gonna take her out on a date to the restaurant in Sulati. I'm so excited, you guys. I love this new world. It's so amazing. It's so beautiful. I wish though it wasn't like 11 o'clock at night so we could see like it in the daytime and everything, but oh gosh, guys, it's just so pretty. Okay, so this is our restaurant. So I want you guys to be able to see it from here. So this is the restaurant. It's very, very interesting. Cool. Although it's missing some like tile pieces at the top. I don't actually know how to fill those to be completely honest, but I just thought this was really cool. So you can like go up here. So it looks like Makai's in his swimsuit or his hot weather outfit maybe. Princess Amir is still in her cold weather outfit though. So I don't really know. Everyone's in their swimsuit. Oh my gosh, wait. Is the, is the clothing attire your bathing suit? Oh, that's so weird. Okay. Well, can we ask for a table then? I guess the dress code is your swimsuit because Princess Amira changed into hers. And she's wearing her hat and sunglasses, but like it's it's dark outside, so I don't know. But I do want them to request a table so they can go ahead and do that. Oh, and there's even a Strangerville person here. Stop. No, I am not okay with this, guys. I, nuh-uh, nuh -uh. Wait, can you not, can I not do the, no, I don't want her here. She need, can I, stop, okay? Uh, I don't want her here. I thought I could just use the MC command center to get rid of her, but I guess I can't. There's a lot of weird stuff happening here, but I just want to request a table. Honestly, that's all we want to do. She's going to request a table. Oh God, guys, I hate this thing. Why can't I use the MC command center on her? That just doesn't make sense to me. Man, they like really wouldn't let you get rid of them. I've never seen one of the Sims from Strangerville in another world ever. So I, I, I'm not, okay with that. Can you disable that actually? Is that a thing you can do? I don't think you can. If any of you guys know how to get rid of them, please let me know. I've literally, God, getting Strangerville was such a waste of money. I think the only thing I use sometimes is like their build items or their, their cast items, but definitely never played like in Strangerville besides my reaction video that I have. So hopefully she'll leave at some point and won't turn us into those weird zombie things. But we are getting our table for Princess Amira and Makai. Oh guys, this is super, super romantic and cute. I like this. I'm gonna add some light though, because it's a little bit dark out here. Okay, so I've added some light, so now it looks a lot better. This is super romantic and cute. Wait, why is she still in her bathing suit, but he's not? This is his formal outfit. He changed into his formal outfit for her. You go okay, she needs to change her outfit. She cannot be in this when he is in that. Okay, probably won't have her change into her actual formal outfit, but at least like her everyday outfit. Like, let's look a little bit nice. I'll probably try to give her like some cute tropical outfit or something. Like, I want to give most of the Royal Sims their own tropical outfit to wear too. So I think that'll be really, really cute. So I'm going to have her compliment his appearance. She looks so angry right now, guys. She looks so irritated and I don't know why. I think she's probably still irritated about what happened with Prince Johan and her sister and her dad. I think she is still angry at her dad and her sister for sure. But I think that's why she wanted to see Makai. Like, I, I feel like, well, well, actually, because I think that Makai did see that. Oh gosh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> because King Jared did go up to Makai and he didn't know that she was engaged and he told her that. So I think he agreed to go out with her and I think he's gonna ask for an explanation from her too about it. So I think he's gonna wait until they actually are like having their drinks and everything. So let's get some sour punch for both of them. Let's get them both salmon. So now I feel like he's asking her about like the whole relationship thing. So ask about day. And I think she needs to explain herself now too. So she definitely needs to tell him like it was like definitely just an arranged marriage and I wasn't into Johan at all. I think that he's probably gonna just get mad at her a 
little bit though like why didn't you tell me like you should have told me and i feel like she would just be like because i didn't want to be in the relationship with them but i think she was just angry just because of the way that things were handled and because like the way that like i feel like she thinks her sister told them about it and i don't think that princess amira i feel like she wanted to like live in a castle still like her life would be so different as like not a princess but the house that makai and his family live in now i feel like she's definitely gonna want to have it remodeled i don't know guys i feel like princess amira doesn't fit in sulani but i feel like she's super into makai but i don't know if, if makai is gonna end up seeing her for like how she really is because you know princess amira doesn't have the best personality in the world so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think because makai is a great guy like he's so so great and oh gosh the interactions are not happening with them but i i don't know if if he could do Better. well i don't know because she's a princess so like there's that like her her standing is definitely higher than him but i don't know i feel like he definitely wants to like marry for love like he wants someone that like gets him and understands him so i just don't know if amira is that person but i guess we're gonna have to see you guys are gonna have to let me let me know what you think for sure oh Yay, I just tried to reset Amira and I think she's broken, you guys. Oh my god, I've never had this happen before. This is so creepy. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> this is so weird. Guys, she's frozen. I think I broke her. Guys, I don't know what I did. Princess Amira is very, very much frozen right now and I'm trying to reset her and it's not working. I need to save Princess Amira. What do I do? Oh my gosh, guys, I fixed her. Thank God. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, what do I even do? <laughs> like, oh my God. I just went into manage roles and came back to her. So that was kind of scary. I have never had that happen before. I have definitely had to reset Sims before, but it was never been that bad. Although right now she's kind of frozen, which is scaring me a little bit too. Oh no, okay, good. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. She's okay. I need, I want her just, I just want her to like go flirt with Makai a little bit before we end the episode. Where did he go? Okay. So she is flirting with Makai now. Thank goodness. I was so worried. Just like nothing was happening with them. It was scaring me just a little bit. Maybe they could go in these lounge chairs together. Sit and chat here. I've never actually done this. I have not used a lot of the items of Sulani that I probably should. So I'm going to have them at least do that and flirt a little bit. And I think I want to try to get them to get a kiss in before they go to school because she is going to have to go to school in just a minute. So romance, maybe. I don't think she'd ask him to be boyfriend. I don't think she'd get that serious, but I do think she's going to try to kiss him. So let's see if he will kiss her back. <gasps> guys, guys, I think they're about to kiss. Yay! Yeah, oh my gosh. <gasps> they kissed you guys. Okay, so Princess Amira kissed him and Makai looks super, super into it. He's blushing very, very hard. So guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So there is three different dates that we went on in this episode that you guys got to see. So let me know what you think of all of them. But if you enjoyed this episode, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. I think in the next episode, we're going to have Queen Ava have her baby. So you guys will get to see that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!